Hey, all you drill team peeps, we are ready for a military stall, okay? My name's Kayla, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do one variation of a military stall. Now, we're gonna go down onto the ground, and I wanna teach you something really, really important about your arms and your upper body in this stall, okay? So you're gonna place your hands like this, okay? Thumbs towards each other, fingers out. You're gonna wanna aim for this, for your hands here, okay? Your elbows are gonna go in towards your stomach. So you're gonna hold your core super tight and use that, um, that force and that like pressure against each other to help you balance, okay? Something you wanna keep in mind, if I turn to this side, you wanna make sure that your hands are in line with your belly button and not in line with your chest. If they're in line with your chest, you're just gonna fall through and be too close to yourself that you're not gonna be able to hold this. So you wanna make sure that your hands are here in front of your belly button as you lower and then kick your legs up, okay? So I'm gonna show that. So I'm going here, my hands are down. I place my hands on the ground, elbows are in nice and tight, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that they're in line with my belly button as I place my head on the floor. Something to keep in mind with this stall, I don't have a lot of weight on my head. Even though it looks like it, I'm actually able to take my head off at any period of time because most of the weight is in my core, okay? Kicking my legs up in a straight line, pointing my toes as hard as I can. This can be done at any angle for all of you choreographers out there. Looks cool on any angle, but just make sure you kick those legs up. You'll come one leg down at a time. Looks like this, all the way up, squeeze, and then come down one leg at a time. Good luck, you guys.